I, I don't, I'm, I, I'm so lost. I know this is supposed to be arcade and unrealistic and I'm trying not to show my face in the reflection, but for crying out loud, what the hell was that ending? Short game, I, it doesn't make any sense. This, this can't be the ending. This is, this is a prank. This, <laughs> what is happening? This, this doesn't make any sense. I'm so, I'm so lost. The, and when you just have to play this freaking hip hop song, this, I, I guess this game is not taking itself seriously. I don't know. What's up, guys? Vince right here. This is kind of a short one because I finished Neo Contra, um, and basically an arcadey type game. The thing is, thing about my history Contra, there's only two Contras that I played, right, in my life. This one. And the first ever one, which was in the NES or something, that I played at my at a friend's house, like years ago. We're talking about like shoot when I was like, like I like I was a little freaking fetus walking around and stuff. And for those that don't know about my history of gaming, even when I was like two, being at my grandma's, I played like a Sega Genesis, Asia two. Like, I, I can't even speak during that time. So when it comes down to very old school games, in some cases, Contra is kind of the first one. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, also, I meant to say Tree because I did play the Galaga one the, or Galuga, whatever it's called. The new one that was on Switch and I played the demo. But when it comes down to Contra, it's not really my cup of tea of games. I prefer any like shmups of shooters or like COD. But the thing about Contra is for this one. So there's been a like criticism of this game, which I don't understand. I also don't understand the lore. I basically downloaded this game or bought it or whatever. I played this game. Okay, basically via emulator. And I play it because I every time that my boy my co-host, Stefan, you know, if you know, you know, um, that me and him, he, we would hang out, we would do podcasts, but when he, ev whenever we hang out, which is kind of like almost every month, uh, I choose a variety of multiplayer games, it, specifically couch co-op games of any system up to Xbox 360. Like anything on the PS3 you want to play, anything on the PS2 you want to play, bro, I got you, man. I got, I got emulators on emulators, man. Like, like, just let me know, okay? Want some like any? We did play a couple of Switch games, like Rocket League or something. A couple of PC games, indie stuff. Nothing crazy. And I guess out of all of them, I kind of always wondered about Neo Contra. It's a game where that I am kind of interested to really look at because it isn't like the the traditional. Contra that I know of with the whole side scroller, you know, Metroidvania style kind of game. No, it, it's basically like, you know, like, you know, first person, not actually third person, right? Third person. Like if Diablo with guns there, I put it that way. My explanation of, you know, games is, is just top tier, isn't it? I'm kidding. But I basically just, you know, I, I enjoyed this game very much. It's pretty much just what I pictured of an arcade, even though it only has three, four missions. It's pretty short. I'm not even supposed to review it. There's some other games that I'm supposed to review that is pretty much like more longer and has more value. But for this one, for what you get, it's, you know, especially, especially if, like if it's like playable in a sense, you kind of like get a lot of gameplay, um, like value out of it. For sure, it is an arcade kind of game, kind of like the same, kind of, like you know, tier as, like like Time Crisis, or, or you know, some other shmups or something, or basically like, I don't know, like any like you know gallery rail shooter or something, which which is basically like Time Crisis, but you know what I mean, like it's usually Time Crisis when it comes down to PS2 arcades specifically ones that I have never played in my life because I did own a PS2 back in the day. And this is one of them where I was, like, curious, and I was always like, what the heck is up with the controversy about this game? And there isn't nothing. Now, the the boss battles and some of the imagery of the game is kind of like, ugh. But it is a fun game. It's hard. It, it's kind of like you really got to, you know perfect your skills when it comes to bullet hell type games in a sense especially old school ones that you know and i don't know if this was like you know this was you know released during a time where 
bullet hell wasn't even a genre but i kind of enjoy this but if you're like into you know vampire survivor or something man this is uh this is a game that could actually almost advance your skills into that i enjoy like you know the shooting mechanics and you know the weaponry that you have there's some aspects of this game that is kind of like ridiculous like the story and i don't understand the story i don't think it's for the story but there's characters that i'm like okay who's this who's that but also the ending just doesn't make sense and i'm gonna try not to spoil it but what is up with the ending that i'm just like okay i get that this is a short game or something but at the same time like this is it this is what we're going for like like i guess you know that happened like i don't even know about the characters that were introduced like who's bill who's the other guy who's the freaking like you know like 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 female ninja who's the i don't know some old guy that's supposed to be a lieutenant or whatever i don't freaking know man but i i played it and hey i got i got my i got my fix out of it i just wish there was more value to this game there's like more like and i get that you know it's it's basically an arcadey nothing crazy kind of it'll be perfect for like you know like like something portable like if i had a powerful handheld like a steam deck or something I mean, I would put this bad boy in there and be like, you know, just playing wherever and pretty much you like, I don't have to be committed to the story. But for what you get, I guess, you know, it's in the crazy ideas that it gives and also just the simplicity. Uh, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. I recommend it uh, and pretty much for and I can count a lot of games. But the thing is that I don't even know if I even finished the game itself like 100% finish it I guess there's like other aspects of playing but I played the four levels and that's all you get the four missions that's it the, like that's it and I'm just like what this doesn't seem right as a ps2 game it doesn't it doesn't feel right that it should be that short in my opinion but you know yep that's Neo Contra what you gonna do um have anyone played this let me know I didn't expect this game to look like that, but I I had a good time. It's satisfying to what it gives in terms of the shooting mechanics and also the abilities and the difficulties that it throws you in. Like I like I enjoyed it for a lot. And I've if there's any contra, I guess it's my mo most favorite one. Even though in a in a very, you know, in in my opinion, I you know, in for me when it comes down to seeing other people jumping into contra i don't think this is the right one because i'm absolutely lost of like whoever these people are i'm like what who huh what's happening the whole world is you know dying and yeah it's just dying that's it okay we're done uh spoiler alert what the heck everything just exploded everything was done and also there was a second character that was the original but isn't it's just an enemy and that enemy won it's like you're telling me the anti-hero freaking won and like i never seen that with any other game okay and then like a freaking anti-hero game where the villain wins there, and there's nothing you can do i thought there was like a boss battle in the finale you know even though there was already a real boss battle but i thought it was a boss battle to defeat your like other you your the clone version of bill like which which is the one in the blue suit or something like i really thought you we were gonna take him out and you know i thought we gotta dance i thought we we're gonna get boogie down and it, it pretty much no it just it just like oh explosion it's like come on a ring what, what is like this game is crazy this, i just don't understand with the maybe it's not supposed to make sense and maybe i'm overthinking about it for what it's supposed to be but whatever yeah neo contra 8 out of 10.